when we actually became a part of Tabernacle, the whole everything just got stronger. Yeah. Everything everybody got aware of their gifts and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It was because I remember I didn't do no laying on of hands mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. We I pray for people, that. but pray for that people. was that I was like it, that. you know. Come to the altar and a general prayer for everybody. I just know I started having all these dreams and stuff. I'm just like, this is great. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, when we got connected to Tabernacle, it was just... Yeah, I didn't know the Holy Ghost before the Tabernacle. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what tongues were. Oh, I didn't know what falling was so out funny. was. I didn't know none of that. I was like, what? Neither uh, did I. I, like, I didn't believe in it. I didn't believe in prophecy. I was like, okay. I didn't believe in prophecy. I didn't believe in like the laying on of hands. I didn't believe in all those miracles and stuff. I didn't believe in that stuff. I never seen nothing like it. <laughs> but the funny thing is though, never my seen first, like it. my first church was a church. Of, my first church was a church of God in Christ. And I remember when I was younger, he used to do these prayer lines. And, he, you know, we used to watch people get healed. But I guess because of the way I was raised in church, I'm just like, man, that was the only time I seen something like that. It probably was fake anyways. But I remember watching this, this, um, this um, um, my pastor laying hands and people would come with neck braces on. And he would take them off and throw them in the trash and they would just go home like they were okay. People would walk into church with canes and he would pray for them, take their cane and throw it out. Like, I watched wow. him pray for people like that when I was a kid, but I guess growing up in the Baptist church where we didn't really do stuff like that, my whole life I didn't see it again. So I'm just thinking, eh, I guess it was fake or whatever, you know? Like, maybe it wasn't <laughs> real. And when we got connected to Tabernacle, and just I'm seeing all this stuff all over again, and I can't explain none of it away. Listen. All, it made me dive into the Bible. Right. Yeah, especially prophecy. Yes. Boy, that was scary. <laughs> I ain't never heard tongues in my life before then. So I'm just looking around the people. They like, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, what's going on? He would tell what got me was, I don't know if we're saying names, but there was a girl here, and the night before she had opened up to us about stuff that was going on in her life. And the next day we had a service, and Pastor Daryl like, prophesied to her about what we had talked about the night before. So that was the first time I was like, okay, this man was not there. What the heck is going on? But that was like what kind of started making me believe, like, what prophecy. I never, nobody prophesied to me before. I never heard that word. Like, ever. Use that. What is that? So I was like, wow. I remember the first thing he ever said to me, Pastor Darrell, he was just like, you you don't know how powerful you are. And I'm just like, mm, I think I'm I, you know. <laughs> I'm strong, that's fine, you know, but no, like, over the course of my life, that has stuck, that stayed with me, so now, it's just everything that I've gone through, I just always feel like, God really did make me a powerful person, because anybody who, the next person that will have dealt with what, what I dealt with, they could have collapsed under pressure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, so. You talking about that reminds me of when we first got connected to the church. Pastor prayed for Jasmine, right? And so everybody's going out. Like everybody's, he, he's praying for everybody and, and he gets to Jasmine. You about to and Jasmine, <laughs> he's praying for Jasmine. I'm looking at Jasmine like, dang, is she about to go out? Is she about to go out? Nope. She goes out, right? And she's on the floor looking around. And when she gets up, she walks over to me and was like, I just fell down because I thought that's what he wanted. <laughs> I did. You know, like I said, it was, they fell out in church. I looked so, at her. He's probably gonna see this video like. I looked at her. I was like, "Don't you ever do this?" Uh, <laughs> I just fell down because everybody else fell down. And I knew something was off because the way she fell was just so like <laughs> pretense. <laughs> I just thought, you know, I'm gonna fall out too. Like, and to this day, I've never fallen, fallen out. I came Way close wrong, one man. time. I came close. I just felt myself going back. I said, no, we're not going to do this today. No, I'm not falling right, out. Because sometimes I can receive like, it. it's just these mad people are on you and they like kind of pushing you. Mm -hmm. so I don't even like, think it was that. Like, it's but like I, I felt that before. People like really going in and put their hands yeah, on their head. And just like, like all right, come on. It, but I remember one time yeah. I, was, I was pretty much battling with this preacher. I was at some church and he laid hands on me. <laughs> He's he battling gripped like the back of my head. He was trying to like make me. Was, and I'm over here walking with like, I'm going, I'm following you. <laughs> 
Like I ain't about to fall out. If the Lord if the Lord not knocking me out, I'm not hitting the ground. Yes. I'm feeling my knees. I ain't going I'm too down. I'm too big to be falling out for no, no reason. Like first of all, I fell out maybe like he's over. And I think I was with Pastor. We we went to somebody's church and this guy was praying for me. I'm just like, um, sir, like I need first of all, it's not the power of God. You got to do all of that. You being yeah. extra. Just tap me on my head, okay?